to hear. Drink a good eel of it, make a good meal of it, stick to your old-fashioned beer. Now don't be afraid of it, drink till you're made of it, now all together a cheer. Hey, good morning, good evening, good afternoon, whenever you're watching this. It's Mark here, your one-take beer reviewer, the guy who writes about beer in Chicago at Beeronaut.com. And, uh, well, after the sheer lunacy of this current week, it's certainly a good excuse to uh, settle down with a nice uh, high-alcohol resting beer, as it were. And I have a couple that have been sent to me again. Uh, this is a follow-up to the uh, Haymarket market beers that uh, they had previously sent me their cold dark night doppelbach and they also sent me in november the barrel aged bullocks english style barley wine yes they probably could not get that uh could not get a beer with this name sold in England, but uh, never mind that. Uh, this is a uh, 12% uh, alcohol by volume barley wine, and it is made with uh, Maris Otter, Dark Crystal, and Munich Malts, Chinook, and Saz Hops. I'm reading right off the screen there. And it has been aged in Woodford Reserve bottles. So, uh, and uh, that sounds like a good reason to have one of these as any. And the thing about barley wines, I, I kind of think you want to have one or two when you got them fresh and then uh, save them to see how that turns. Because they're kind of like Imperial IPAs. Maybe not as hoppy, but there are going to be fresh hops in there that are going to be changing over time. So I have a second can of this and I'll hopefully have impressions to follow up with a couple years down the line, he said, as he tried to pop the top. Hope it doesn't splatter on him and we're good. So, yes, the English-style barley wine is uh, pretty nice and dark. And I'm getting a very nice uh, caramel um, malt smell and uh, some bourbon flavor as well. And you can see the head uh, kind of sits there for just a couple seconds and then it, fly, it, fl it just flits away. Uh, very roasty, uh, a little bit of tobacco uh, to it, and some uh, some uh, light uh, cocoa, even, and uh, just plenty of uh, sherry and plum and uh, other uh, fruit leathers or stone fruits. Oh, this really settles. It's like a. Uh, like a, almost like a raisin juice uh, that gets down on your tongue. And yes, I'm taking, I'm tasting uh, more than enough of uh, the uh, alcoholic bourbon flavors to it. And as I said, a little bit of tobacco. You kind of think of chair leather for this. And um, let's see. Yes, very fruity malts to this, and I think that's the character that's going to uh, drift away if you let this age too long. But who am I to judge? I've got some. I've got a whole case of uh, Sierra Nevada Bigfoot from 2002 still in my basement. So, but yes, this is a uh, wonderful beer to be having, uh, even when it's not crazy outside in the news like this, and. Um, Hopefully, uh, you'll be watching this years from now and wondering what the heck it is I'm talking about. But uh, right for now, this is the uh, barrel-aged Bullocks English-style barley wine from Haymarket Brewing of Chicago, Illinois. Also uh, made at their, at their uh, production facility in Bridgman, Michigan. Highly recommended, even if it was sent to me for my comment. And uh, once again, yeah, I'm just kind of uh, getting a little taste of it as I keep talking here. Well worth seeking out and enjoying, and this is Mark, your one-take beer reviewer, and the guy at Beeronaut.com still wishing you a happy new year 2021. Now don't 